Now, the global community has condemned China's effort to tighten its grip over Hong Kong. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has called this new controversial security law as the death knell for Hong Kong's autonomy. The Pompeo has urged China to reconsider what he has termed as a disastrous proposal. The European Union has also denounced China's efforts to muscle dissent in Hong Kong. The EU's Minister Joseph Borrell called for the preservation of Hong Kong's autonomy after consulting with EU member states. Now, the foreign ministers of Canada, the United Kingdom and Australia also issued a joint statement condemning this move by China. They've also expressed some deep concerns over the national security law, saying that it will undermine the principle of one country, two systems. Now, within Hong Kong, there are also calls for resuming the pro-democracy protests. Last year, remember, there were more than a million people who descended onto the streets of Hong Kong to protest against mainland China. Now, the demonstrations had fizzled out after the COVID-19 outbreak in the city. Many activists, including Joshua Wong, have also highlighted as to how Beijing is using the pandemic to push through this controversial law. Since the world is dealing with a health emergency, China is expecting the backlash to die down in the near future. Uh, during the outbreak of COVID-19, Beijing took advantage on it and ignored people's uh, demand on freedom and democracy. When the world is handling the pandemic, Beijing made the same mistake again and put Hong Kong under the global spotlight again. And on the upcoming summer, more than a million of Hong Kongers will gather on the street again and urge Beijing to withdraw the national security law that damaging and harmful to Hong Kong's future.